वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू जेड पैरामीटर कैलकुलेशन विथ वन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज जेड पैरामीटर हाउ टू मेजर जेड पैरामीटर वॉट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ जेड पैरामीटर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट वन टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क बाई यूजिंग जेड पैरामीटर सो लेट आर सी द क्वेश्चन हियर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी हैव टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क वेर दिस इज माई पोर्ट वन एंड दिस इज माई पोर्ट टू एंड इन दिस वी आर डिल विड टू फाइंड जेड पैरामीटर राइट सो इफ यू सी माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट जेड पैरामीटर्स आर ओपन सर्किटेड पैरामीटर राइट सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू मेजर जेड पैरामीटर्स एट दैट टाइम यू विल हैव टू कीप वन पोर्ट ओपन सो इफ आई कीप पोर्ट टू एज ओपन सर्किट इन दैट केस दैट आई टू दैट विल गेट जीरो एंड देन वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई जेड वन वन एज वेल एज जेड टू वन आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेप बाई स्टेप हाउ टू डू दैट सो लेट अस हैव पोर्ट टू ओपन सर्किटेड सो नाउ वॉट आई एल डू इज आई एल कीप पोर्ट टू ओपन सर्किट एंड लेट मी रिड्रो दिस सर्किट फर्स्ट सो नाउ यू सी आई हैव रिड्रॉन दिस सर्किट राइट नाउ वॉट आई एल डू इज आई एल कीप पोर्ट टू एज ओपन सर्किट सो आई टू दैट विल गेट जीरो नाउ सी आई टू विल गेट जीरो एंड फर्स्ट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई जेड वन वन डायरेक्टली दैट इज वी वन बाई आई वन नाउ वॉट इज दैट यू सी दैट इज जस्ट इम्पिडन्स विच इज हैपनिंग ओवर हियर राइट नाउ वॉट इज दैट इम्पिडन्स सो दैट इम्पिडन्स इज यू सी दिस वन ओम रजिस्टर दैट इज दैर इन सीरीज विद दिस नेटवर्क सो आई एम राइटिंग प्लस नाउ दिस नेटवर्क इन दैट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस रजिस्टर that is parallel with combination of this two right so i'm writing two parallel now in bracket see combination of this two is there in series as this is zero this two are there in series so 1 plus half that is how we have impedance over here and that is v1 by i1 which is z11 now let us solve this so when you solve this type of impedance then you should start from here right so 1 plus half that is 3 by 2 right now 2 parallel 3 by 2 that is 2 into 3 by 2 divided by 2 plus 3 by 2 so if you take lcm of 2 then this 2 will get cancel and this will be 6 and this will be 4 plus 3 7 so i can say 1 plus 6 by 7 and again further if you take 7 as lcm then you will be having 7 plus 6 13 divided by 7 so z11 that is 13 by 7 ohm now see we got the value of z11 now what we wanted to have now we wanted to have v2 by i1 right so v2 by i1 now that is our next question now see here current is zero right so here i can say i am having voltage v2 now if i wanted to have voltage v2 in terms of i1 then what i can do you see i can calculate current passing in this branch right in this branch and once i say that current in this branch is let us say i1 dash then once i am having i1 dash that voltage v2 that will be i1 dash into half resistance right so see here let us find i1 dash first so i1 dash that is you see now i1 is bisected into this two wings so i1 dash is passing through this wing so i1 dash is how much total current that is i1 right into opposite resistance as per current divider rule so opposite resistance is 2 divided by total resistance so 2 plus 1 plus half right now let us simplify this so if you take lcm of 2 2 will go in numerator so that will be 4 now 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 so now i got the value of i1 dash so now i can say v2 is how much 
V2 that is current through this resistor is I1 dash. So, I1 dash into this resistance is half. Now, I1 dash that we already have right that is I1 into 4 by 7 into half. So, this will cancel and here there will be 2. So, I can have V2 by I1 and what is V2 by I1? So, you see that is 2 by 7 right and V2 by I1 is what? V2 by I1 is Z12 right. So, that is how we can identify forward transfer impedance right. Now, we got the value of Z11 and Z12 right. Now, if you wanted to have Z22 and Z21, then what we need to do? We need to keep port 1 as open circuit, right. So, now what I'll do is, I'll keep port 1 as open circuit. Now, you see, we are having same circuit in which I'll keep port 1 as open circuit. So, as if I keep port 1 as open circuit, I1 will be 0 over here as this is open circuit. Now, first of all, let us find Z22 that is V2 by I2. So, what is that? That is impedance measured in between these two terminal by keeping this port open circuit, right. So, if you find Z22 that is V2 by I2, so that is impedance over here, right. So, what is that? See, that is this half parallel this circuit. So, let me write half parallel this circuit. Now, if you see this circuit, so in that, see here current is 0, so you don't need to consider this resistor, right. So, I can say 1 series with 2, right. 1 series with 2 means 1 plus 2. So, that is Z22. So, half parallel 3 means half into 3 divided by half plus 3. So, if you take 2 LCM, then this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and you will be getting 3 divided by 6 plus 1, 7, right. So, we will be having Z22 that is 3 by 7 ohm. So, this is output impedance or you can say that that is port 2 impedance, right. Now, see what I want to find is, I want to find the value of V1 by I2, right. I want to find value of V1 by I2. Now, you see here current is 0. So, this V1 that will appear over here. So, let us say here I am having V1 with respect to ground, right. Now, how to identify V1? So, see here I2 is there. So, that will get bisected in this wing as well as in this wing. So, let us say here current is I2 dash. So, first I will identify I2 dash in terms of I2. Then V1 is equals to I2 dash into 2 and then I can have relation of V1 by I2, right. So, let us find I2 dash and that is total current that is I2. Now, see as per current divider, I2 dash is happening in this branch, right. So, this branch resistance that is half divided by total resistance that is half plus this branch resistance. So, that is 1 plus 2, 3. Now, just take half as LCM. So, 2 will get cancelled and I2 into numerator is having 1 and denominator is having 1 plus 6 that is 7. Now, I am having I2 dash in terms of I2, right. Now, I can say V1. What is V1? V1 is I2 dash into 2, right. V1 is I2 dash into 2. So, I2 dash, I2 dash is I2 into 1 by 7 into 2. So, I can say V1 by I2 that is Z21 and that is 2 by 7 ohm. So, that is my reverse transfer impedance. So, this is how we can identify impedance in form of forward transfer impedance, reverse transfer impedance, input impedance. Here you should have knowledge about how we can apply KVL, KCL, voltage divider, current divider. Then you can easily find the values, right.